right, uh, last time we were going to the, uh, scary-looking castle place. And we don't get a little entrance thing, but there are buckets here which can kill us instantaneously, which I did not even think about when I was going up that little platform in which I could sing upon, but, you know, stuff happens. What's this do? It's like a maze. Joy. I wonder how much of this video is going to be sped up. You know, except the parts where I'm dying. I can only hope this will bring us hours of entertainment. As I keep doing the same stupid thing over and over again. Oh, this is about an exciting minute. Also, I remembered that you can play this game in full screen if you, uh, alt-enter your way into the full screen, in which you can see everything more clearly, which is nice, because some games don't let you do that for whatever reason. It's like, psh, full screen, who needs it? Okay, it's obviously gonna be like a P-switch or something, I'm guessing. Can we go back in the door we came in from? I guess we can. But... Okay, it's not a P-switch, it's a... Hey, we're gonna fall and land on a stupid bucket. I'm cheering frantically to show my disgust. Okay, so we go in door number one, and then we go in door number two, and then we go and see what's under door number bucket. Okay, I'm not having a whole lot of patience in this game today. And patience is key. Especially when you are to the right holding a little mushroom in your hands. And being all like, I'm so happy. Because I keep seeing some guy who's playing my game and sucking and dying quite often. You know, Marissa's little parts over there is in the bright left purple on the hat. Even though it's the underside of the hat, but still. Okay, uh... Something tells me that either... You know, that? It's gotta be this side. No? Close. But that wasn't. Well, that technically was close, but that was what I was trying to avoid to do, to do, yeah. I suppose the most logical approach to this would be to check all the doors and not die. Hasn't it been exciting probably three minutes by now? Now then. Ow. Spit my tongue. Awesome. This is why you're not supposed to chew gum and talk. Not because if something bad will happen, you'll just bite your tongue a lot. Or something, I'm guessing. Okay, we've made it up to here, so we can go back down if we really want to, but I'm not going to take that opportunity. Something tells me it's going to be impossible to get all the stars in this one run. In just one run, anyway. At least, unless you want to be here for a while. So far, so far. Okay, we have a P-Switch. What can we do with the P-Switch? I don't know, in the Marissa engine, can you take stuff? And doors and P-Switches. Only one way to find out. No, you can't. Well... Fiddlesticks. Huh, I wonder what fiddlesticks are used for anyway. Wow, really? Insta-death? Well, I suppose you are being crushed, but it's a wooden bucket. Even in my suspension of belief, or whatever it is, suspension of disbelief, I forget. Wood doesn't seem that threatening. Of course, it keeps killing me. Ten minutes. I mean, ten lives, and I haven't even uh, accomplished anything. So, um... God. Uh, well, I figured out what the piece switch does. Woohoo, empty room. Sneaky, sneaky. There's a star. And there's a door. Maybe that's the door that we found ourselves in earlier. Yeah, perhaps. What else is in here? Besides buckets. And dry bone girl things. Oh man, I wonder if I can get past the bucket. I'm about to kick the bucket, however. 
way, we're brought back to the start with that one. Ooh. do de do 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 Okay, so basically, the first door in here, right here, leads to that door that was right there, and then that bucket leads to death. This door leads to this door right here, which leads to a star. Not a computer star, but whatever. It's not that important. Now then, we gotta explore what else this piece really does. We know that makes that door there takes you back to the start, but it doesn't do anything else. It's almost like it. Okay, so we know that that is quiz essential to getting the second star. And we know that the first star is in this little wall right here, and Martha can just walk behind. And then we can go to the third door, which leads to another area, but let's go ahead and check out the fourth door. It drops us there, which probably leads to a star in that little thing right there. We'll investigate that at a later time, but I know I'm dying again. But I'm gonna have to dodge this bucket sometimes. Dodge the girls and dodge the crystal balls, which... Huh. How do you feel about that? I feel dead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this in a way that makes most sense. Now then, I just want to get this crap, so... Let's end it. I'll go back for the stars. At least I think this is the... Nope, this isn't the right way. Of course, this game's gone full on crappy. Okay, here's the joke. If you go, uh... I'll just show you. See that? Yeah. You go up here and you're like, Oh, what the... Oh, there's a secret passage! Oh my goodness, I wonder what it can lead to! And then you find that leads to death. Also, these two doors lead to the same place, so... Yeah, Peace Switch is so far useless except for that one tiny spot where it actually makes a difference. And I hate buckets. Anyways, I know what we need to do something here. If we take the fourth door, it takes us to a new area, so let's go exploring. No wait, it's the fifth door. Dang it. Okay, door number five. Like I said, it leads to Bucket Land. Oh, my favorite. I love buckets. I wonder if that's the name of a restaurant somewhere, the Love Bucket. I'd be afraid. Okay, we can't get that star through conventional methods. Are there any stars in these walls? Wouldn't be surprised. Although I don't want to find out the hard way, because the hard way usually involves death. It doesn't look like it. Where's this door go? Okay, um... This is all obviously just one big puzzle thing. Ugh. Damn it! Frickin' doors! Buckets! Whatever! 